I'm Eric Wielander, welcome to my channel. Brilliant has been making smart displays that talk to your smart home gadgets for years now, and the new Brilliant plug-in home control just requires screws in the wall and a single wall outlet for power. There's no need to replace a wired light switch or mess with your electrical system, which makes this a product even people who rent can consider. And there are some good reasons to be excited. Smart displays like this one can give you and other people in your home quick access to controls like lighting, thermostats, door locks, and cameras. This can be especially helpful for guests in your home. They might not want to be added to all of your smart home setups, but they still need to turn on the lights and might want to play some music or check on a camera or adjust the thermostat. Aside from all the brilliant puns about the brilliant marketing ideas and the brilliant innovation, we need to talk about the features that might make this display a brilliant or a bad idea for your smart home. And at the end of the video, I'll also mention some alternatives you might wanna consider if this display doesn't quite line up with what you have. Thanks to Brilliant for sending me this display with no strings attached. This video is not sponsored. As I mentioned earlier, the installation process is very easy overall, but as pointed out clearly in the setup guide, you need to properly connect the wire into the mounting plate it has to go in at just the right angle. The display just slides over top of the mount, but still remains pretty slim on the wall. The whole setup minimally sticks out. While the display is not in use, you can have a set of images that it cycles through. This part really shows what a nice display it is. You can use stock photos that come with the device or upload up to 20 custom images from your camera roll. This is fine, but 20 pictures is a very low limit compared to linking services from Amazon or Google with their smart displays and having a lot of photos. But the app does have a nice way that it lets you customize the cropping so you get the parts you want of the photo on the screen. But the lock screen won't drain your electricity when you aren't there. It's set to only turn on when there's motion or when it's touched. And I find this incredibly responsive for turning on when I come in the room. Once you tap on the display, you see your list of shortcuts along with a tab bar to get specific modes like music. Tapping on one of the shortcuts performs an action like setting a scene specified in the Brilliant app for a group of lights or pulling up the details for a control like a speaker. You might've also noticed there are two sliders on the side. You can assign those to any accessory you want like control controlling the brightness of lights or the volume of speakers. And when you touch them, the display shows what you're adjusting and its corresponding value on the screen. Along with the motion sensor to turn on the camera, the display also has a built-in camera. You can use the Brilliant app to enter a live view of the camera from anywhere. You can hear what's going on and talk through the display. When the camera's active, a red light turns on on the top of the display, and the display shows a message that a live view is happening, but they can't see your video. You can also disable this feature on displays where you don't want a live view, but there's no way to physically cover the camera or cut off the microphone. Now, in order to make the Brilliant display really useful, you need to connect it with your various smart home services. If you're familiar with Brilliant's other displays that are wired into the wall, these are designed to also be a smart switch. You can add them in Apple's Home app as a light switch, but this panel just mounts to the wall and isn't tied to a light switch, so adding it to your HomeKit home really doesn't give you anything at this point. Now, don't overlook this display. There's still a lot of use in an Apple Home since it can talk to a lot of the same devices you add to your Apple Home, like my HomeKey compatible Slage & Code Plus door lock on my front door. The Home app and automation still see if you lock or unlock your front door even if it's controlled by something like the Brilliant Display. Adding other systems to your Brilliant Home can be annoying as well. The app wants you to maintain a setup of different rooms in the Brilliant app, and then you have to add each accessory into a Brilliant Room. This is not a brilliant design for a company that's a small startup relative to smart home giants like Apple, Amazon, and Google. I think they should just let you add lights and assign them to specific panels in your home. But at least this is only something you have to deal with once at setup. Speaking of annoyances, I found that there was a lot of cases where I needed to retry setting up accessories like Philips Hue and Sonos. One helpful tip was to remove the integration in Brilliant and then re-add it if you're having trouble getting any devices to show up. But Brilliant still only sees four of my six active Sonos speakers. Weirdly enough, it can still control the ones it doesn't see if they are grouped 
with one it does see. The best part of the Sonos integration is the fact that you can easily see the current song playing and pick new music from your Sonos favorites or recently played items. I just wish it would always show the playback status if you're playing something on Sonos right on the screen, not going back to the lock screen and showing photos. All right, Eric from the future here to just say that this brilliant display finally recognized my kitchen Sonos as well as the other Sonos it wasn't picking up. And then once you're playing music from a Sonos in the same room, then you actually get the playback showing on the screen. What a brilliant idea. Many years ago, Sonos used to sell a dedicated controller display that they have long since discontinued. This brilliant display is the closest thing to that I've seen lately, and it gives anyone in the room access to the current song and playback. The Philips Hue integration is what you would expect. Once you add the lights, you have options to set their brightness and control the color on the panel. Ecobee was also easy to add and gives you control of your thermostats. There's a similar integration for Nest that I did not test. Unfortunately, Ecobee cameras and security systems are not yet supported. Another cool thing with a brilliant display when you have a thermostat is that you can have it show the temperature of the thermostat on the screen. This display has a lot of hooks to integrate with Alexa and Ring security systems, which I didn't take the time to investigate as I'm not using those services right now. Lutron is a key integration this product is missing. So I'm here in our dining room where I just turned on this chandelier, which is powered by a Lutron Caseta dimmer with my brilliant display. And that's because it turns out you can actually connect Lutron Caseta to your brilliant display. But to do it, you need to set up a Samsung SmartThings account, which is free. You don't need to have any Samsung hardware and then integrate Lutron Caseta with Samsung SmartThings. Then you can tie Samsung SmartThings to your brilliant display and your brilliant display can talk to SmartThings, which can talk back to Lutron Caseta and you're able to control your Caseta lights inside of the brilliant display and system. So. It's a little bit convoluted. I wouldn't buy a brilliant display counting on this to always work, but it's great that if you do happen to get a brilliant display and you happen to have Lutron Caseta lights like I do, you can get them to work. So is this display worth it for you? Well, if you rent a home or apartment where you use Philips Hue, Sonos, and Ring, I think this device has a lot of potential. Otherwise, you might consider a Google or Amazon display. Even if you're primarily based in Apple Home, you can control a lot of the same devices. And I've had a Google Nest Hub in my kitchen for years, and it works as a photo frame of a specific album we share in Google Photos. Most importantly, it's a lot cheaper than a brilliant display. That said, I think Brilliant has designed a really solid product here. If you're willing to spend the money and you have the systems in your home that integrate well with it, it could be a great option. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I hope to see you in the next video.